thought. Um, I was thinking just as right before I know we, we have to get callers, but I was thinking I wanted to ask you um, when you were growing up who the people in show business or whatever or wherever that inspired you. Oh, are we live? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know we well, were back on. I was just thinking, like, I've never really talked to you about early, your, like, inspiration well, about only, stuff. Let's see, I'm 28, so <laughs> I really loved Anna Jennifer Ferris, Aniston. Regina, yeah, Jennifer Aniston, Regina Anna Hall. Ferris, that was a nice Anna little Ferris. dig there. <laughs> Hall. Anna, yeah, <laughs> Regina Hall. Um, no, I think I loved, um, I loved Goldie Hawn. Yeah. I loved Meryl Streep. I loved Sally Field. What were I me too? What Sally were like Fields. the sitcoms though? Did you watch any sitcoms? I loved Three's Company. I was oh, that's really, really funny. I loved Three's that's Company. Funny. Did you watch Three's Company? Or I were couldn't you too really. Pre- something about the opening that thing where they're on like the Maybe. golf cart. They're knock like on your zoo. door. <laughs> they're going through the it zoo. Depressed me. <laughs> is new. Really? It, yeah, I found something about it fundamentally depressing. One of my know favorite shows of all time. Really? It's a oh, really good show. You just wanted to live with two women. I loved Chrissy. Well, who didn't yeah. love Chrissy? She was You'd be a good Chrissy. Really? Yeah. Are you stereotyping me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know why? Chrissy was really sexy. But the thing with Suzanne Summers is that she's so smart in real yeah. life. It's just crazy that she could. Do- she was excellent. Um, but don't you think as a, you, you and I have played ridiculous characters before yeah. and it's so much fun. Yeah. But it goes back to sort of that old adage. Like, I like to think that. You know, it takes thoughtfulness to play somebody. Oh, that's why she's so or good. Insane. That's yeah. what, and no, you realize how good she was because you realize she's really smart. So that's a full-on character. It's hard to not to try to dismiss vanity. Yeah. In yeah. That, that process, it's like I mean, okay, she was, she guess was, the world's gonna assume that I'm a fucking idiot. Oh no, she was. You know what I mean, though. Yeah, and she was really pretty. Mm-hmm. So I did. Let's see. I loved that. Was as good. I were you? I was Golden Girls. I loved Golden Girls. I Isn't that to our live job? With them. Isn't that what we're yes. retiring to? <gasps> That's right. We're supposed to retire to Golden Girls. We were going to pitch a show. Mm-hmm. Regina and I were going to remake yeah. Golden Girls. <laughs> live on a yacht mm-hmm. though mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. in Southern when we, Florida. I think we, I think job. Florida is still kind of great. I, Maybe the Keys. I Maybe think things so get too. loopy. I like it. I Maybe like we're it. like rusty, weird. Yeah, like I would love that. Let's say you were. I could get us a nice. Gray wig, famous musician from what you said earlier from the seventies. You were huge in the seventies. Oh my gosh, like Donna Summer, and uh, yeah, and you've got like you know whatever, like your sort of like whole thing, and you play guitar or whatever, and you smoke a lot of weed or, um, and oh god, that means I have to be the fucking straight guy. No, <laughs> no, 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 you don't. I don't. No. Can I you're be the, the re- whore? Oh. You're the rebellious lesbian yes. who now I just discovered men with girth. And so we can't stop you. Ah, oh, I just fuck all over the keys. Yes. <laughs> you know what? Instead of golden curls, yes. we'll call it key fucking. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's, yeah. We'll sell it to all look, the major look, networks. No, no. Be no, we can't more. be too obvious. It's got to be called the golden key. <laughs> <laughs> Golden keys, and that will that'll play into. Oh, you know what? You're not a guitar player. You're a piano player. Yes, yes. You have a piano made out of gold yes. as well. Yes, <laughs> it's a double entendre. Yes, that's us. That's us. Oh, we did it. We did it. We figured out oh, retirement. Yeah. yeah. Oh, dear listeners, can you wait for the We're golden keys? Anxious to get old. <laughs> I bet you are too. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my yep. goodness. Mm. Right. Yachting in the keys. You've never seen seniors do this. <laughs> this is. What what should, what should your name be? Oh, you're like a hippie, so I think my name is Betty. I like just Betty Flower. Okay, Flower, Betty Flower. Betty why Flower. can't I keep my pussy closed? <laughs> why should you, Betty? I never thought about it like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Will you play me a tune? Sure. On your golden keys. <laughs> Keep that pussy open. <laughs> Wait, what's your name? I you were better than that. What's your name? <sighs> Babe, flowers. You know my... Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, what is my name? What's your name? Cavern. Oh, keep that cavern open. <laughs> pussy cavern. <laughs> <laughs>
Do you hear the piano? Yeah. yeah. The Liberace? Because that was in our day. Do you know that just slapping on the keys doesn't mean you can play? I'm simulating a wild night for you. That's kind of avant-garde. That's cool. <laughs> hey, Flowers, I'm crashing. I'm taking top bunk this time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Cavern, I'll see you in the morning. Or are you staying home? Ooh. <laughs> you want to prowl tonight? <laughs> but I like the idea that we're the, the audience when they go... Ooh, after a big oh, burn. that we're our own thing and our own laugh track. I want that. I want us to do our own reactions. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can, you, can I see an example? Yeah. Do just do a scene, but then okay. do your own let's, reactions let's during you the scene. And I okay. pre- let's you and I pretend to kiss. Okay. We're, we're like finding Each love. Other? Yeah, we're finding love for okay. the first time. Okay. Mm. Ooh. <sighs> Ooh. <sighs> Let's do it again. Let's do it again. I'll okay, do the wait. ooh, so it's the same sound. Okay, because we get that on when yeah. we do our show okay. all the time. Okay. okay, okay, okay. I never thought, I never thought this would happen. Yeah, me neither. <gasps> That's the That's best. <laughs> this is. I so liked it. This is working. Is it it? Yeah. I feel like as you're saying that, you're thinking this is not working. <laughs> let's do a funny joke and then be our laugh track. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's do a not very funny joke. Okay. Yeah, um, that's better. Uh, okay. Hey, uh, hey, flowers. Yeah, cavern. What'd you think about them roses? <laughs> <laughs> But keep going though. Do another joke. Keep going. Oh, uh, flowers. Yeah, cavern. Not carnations. (laughs) (laughs) Cavern. Yeah, flow. What about those rams? Rams. What are we? We're living on an island, not Colorado. I meant the football team. <laughs> this is a fucked up this dark is, place. This is, a, this is a, such a, I, I'm like riveted right now. I want to see where this goes. I really was talking about the Rams. You were talking about the football team, the Rams. Yes. And she thought you were talking about actual Rams. Which is why it's a funny joke. <laughs> because I was talking about the Rams because they just came back to L.A. Yes, I, I you know got what? that. There might be something kind of brilliant about two, not in this, not what we just did, but but the idea of exploring two people who constantly think they're talking about two completely different two, things. all the time. All the time. Like just two old ladies. I like that. that. Are just like two ships. Sailing. Yeah. Is it, that it would be really funny. They do their own reactions. Yeah, and they're just I constantly the like reaction. having their conversations. Ooh. They think they're having them to each other, but they're really just having them to the, themselves. Have you ever seen Good Times? No. They had the most extreme reactions. Did you ever see Good Times? They always had like a great moment that was shadowed by tragedy. And they never... <laughs> <laughs> and then at the end, it always be like... <gasps> And then there'd be some extreme reaction from the <laughs> cast, and then you'd like hear that somebody track. died, or like oh yeah, when James really? died, damn, 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 and then it was like, mm, like kind of a spiritual and, and so beautiful, right? Or or did it feel false in the moment? No, it didn't no, feel because it worked because people loved. That well, show. we didn't know a lot better. We didn't know, but you know, you didn't know. You know, television's evolved. So, I mean, every time they had a chance to make money, something would happen. She married a really fo- a football player that had the best contract, and they were going to be rich and get out the project. Don't Did tell me he got one? injured. Do not tell me he got injured. He got injured walking no. down the aisle. JJ was no. taking a picture of them leaving That's the so chapel, insane. and he tripped on JJ's knee, and then he moved into the projects with them. So now there were there was one more. That's the worst thing I ever and heard. then they were about to be rich because 
Florida got offered it. Uh, so wait, is the storyline that they're always sort of somehow about to be rich and then something horrible? Yes. yes. Oh, no. I they're always about to get out of the projects, and then they never do. That's so frustrating and annoying, and oh, I, I would be so sad. I and it's watch called show. Good Times because they always make. Hey, mom! I was offered this scholarship. It's an academic scholarship. <laughs> oh wait! The paperwork burned. <laughs> no, in one she got. She was. A, they wanted her to be the spokesperson for a cough syrup, and it was really big. This is so sweet. Right, it was really big, and she was doing it. And then somehow her youngest son, older than Jack, but still young, got the cough syrup and drank it, and he was drunk. And morally, she couldn't sell a cough syrup that she knew was nothing but liquor. So they stayed poor again. But get, wait a minute. Back what, this wait, up wait, for wait, us. What? I don't have a moral problem with this. <laughs> she, that was the thing. She was so moral. Oh, uh, that's a tough role to play, isn't it? As women, we sort of get saddled with a lot of that. Well, she had a husband that was really hardworking, but he died. Mm. Of course he did. <laughs> yeah. And then she met but a new man. He probably promised to get she them out of the project, <laughs> and he <laughs> almost did. And then she met a new man who was really good to her, and he had cancer. Oh. And he died, too. <laughs> Wait, which one was Jimmy Walker? Jimmy Walker was her son who, oh, there was one episode where he found <laughs> this girl who could really sing, but she it was like a white and then she girl. Died? It was a white girl. And he, no, he took her to a comedy club that he worked so hard to get her to perform in, like the biggest. And then there was a manager who was bigger than him. And he said, "If you don't," and when she was upstage sing, on stage singing the bad song, he said, "Listen, if you don't sign her over to me, I'm going to make sure her career is ruined and she'll never get, she'll never sing." And JJ liked her so much that he. He he said okay. He said okay. Oh. I'll give her to you. And then he told no, yeah. And then he told her. She oh was my like, god. She was like, come on, JJ. And the guy's like, I want to sign you. And she's like, no, I'm with JJ. And he said, no. Listen, you work with him. I'm. And then he made up some excuse. And then he lost his act. So they were poor again. This is the worst show ever. And then Thelma almost married this really rich African prince, but she found out he had five other wives, and that she would be like <laughs> number no, six. No. Oh so my god. So she couldn't go through with the wedding. Well, that's what it was, episode, episode after episode. Wait, I, got, I got to get to What about, uh, so Jimmy Walker's the one that said... Dino-, Dino Mike. So when, why did he say that? When would he say that? Whenever something good would happen. But so, nothing good seems to happen. Well, like in the episode sometimes... Early on, he be gets like, to say it like in the first three minutes. <laughs> yeah, he gets it the first half there. When things look good. Because okay. remember, yeah, everything yeah. looks good. And then by the right. end of the episode, it's the tragedy. <sighs> Like when Florida was about to get married and she was waiting for the fiance and he never called, never called, never called. And she went to the bar to look for him and she found out he had cancer. There was another one where JJ had made, taken out a a loan or something to do something good and the loan sharks were about to beat him. And so the money that I think they had made, they had to pay to the loan sharks. This is so, so, so awful. And then there was one where Walona... (laughs) Uh, met this little girl and she liked her and it was Janet Jackson. She adopted her. But she found out Janet was getting burned. <laughs> <laughs> Janet getting, was getting, what? Her name was Penny. Her mother was burning her with an iron. Oh my God. As Penny. Janet Jackson as Penny on Good Time. Well, she was probably pretty she was naughty. Like, she must have been a little kid, right? She was a little kid. This no, is horrible. No, she wasn't naughty. Her mother was, no, we was know. abusive. And no, then, this, is, and like, then this JJ, is terrifying. JJ this whole show. fell madly in love. How did you? He fell madly in love and he ran away. He got married and he ran away with his bride, played by Debbie Allen. And then on the honeymoon, he found out because she was taking too long in the bathroom that she was a heroine. <laughs> what is the show? This is a comedy? Dear yes, listeners, God, this whole times. conversation got started because I asked <laughs> Regina about her early inspirations. We started Now we are now going through season by season yeah. the After tragedies times. on good times. <laughs> which turns out yes. not so many good times. <laughs> Fewer good times. Bad times. A little, little more bad times. Bad times. And that's dynamite. <laughs> This episode of Unqualified is brought to you in part by ZocDoc. Who gets excited about trying a new restaurant that has two out of five stars? When it comes to finding healthcare, don't ratings matter even more? ZocDoc is a free app where you can compare doctors, read reviews from real patients, and even make same-day appointments. When I finally called to reschedule my dentist appointment, I was told that my dentist had been retired for nearly three years. In my defense, parking was a nightmare. 
Through ZocDoc, I found a new dentist who had great reviews, took my insurance, and whose office was actually within walking distance. I was also able to book an appointment instantly without talking to a receptionist who made me feel guilty about not having my teeth cleaned for three years. My new dentist didn't make me feel guilty either and only suggested I floss a little more often. Whether you need a primary care physician, dentist, dermatologist, psychiatrist, eye doctor, or other specialist, ZocDoc makes healthcare easy. Now is the time to prioritize your health. Go to ZocDoc.com slash unqualified and download the ZocDoc app. Sign up for free and book a top-rated doctor who might be available as soon as today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash unqualified. This episode of Unqualified is brought to you in part by State Farm. And in honor of their surprisingly great auto insurance rates, I'm going to tell you about a particularly surprising day on set. It takes me a long time to read a script. For almost every line of dialogue, I will stop to figure out why my character would say it, how it fits in the conversation, and how it's going to come out of my mouth. Between the lines, there are larger chunks of text which describe everything else happening in the scene. Maybe what a room looks like, what characters are wearing, and what they're doing. As I often underestimate how long everything in my life takes, I know I can make up some time by reading those larger chunks a little faster. I got the script for Overboard about six months before we started production. I read it in my warm living room, wearing comfortably warm clothes, sipping from a warm mug of tea. Somehow, it never occurred to me that when you jump off a boat in the middle of the ocean, the water is surprisingly cold. And it doesn't get any warmer on take two. Here at Unqualified, we love State Farm because they provide coverage that meets your needs at a surprisingly great rate. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Call or go to statefarm.com for a quote today. We're going to call Carolyn right now. Hello? Hey, Carolyn. How are you? It's Sim. Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing really well. That was Anna right there. Oh, hi. And Regina Hall is here as well. Oh, hi. No, you can't see her. This is audio. I just needed to push the thing. (laughs) I was looking for her and I was thinking all I see is a phone. Do you pronounce it Caroline or Carolyn? Carolyn. Carolyn. We've got Regina Hall, one of my dearest friends, who yes, was in I all the Anna. scary movies. Yes. I love her, too, except for five. We were too old. Sorry, yes. don't mean to throw you under the bus. And you notice that five well, doesn't work without yeah, us. Yeah, I don't know. Listen, we're going to pat who ourselves saw, on yeah, the I think I would have taken <laughs> a crew <laughs> at my any chest age. is getting bigger. Yeah. Oh, Thanks, yeah. Dr. Tidalbaum. Um, oh, yeah. But, uh, so, okay, tell us what's going on. Yes. um, So I recently started dating someone who's a friend of mine. Um, So we met about a year ago and um, we've been friends for a very long time. We, um, we have a really close friend group because we all studied abroad together and um, uh, we studied in London. Oh, amazing. Sorry. So yeah, it was incredible. And and it brought us all really close together. Um, So um, recently, so up until um, this past June, I was seeing someone else, and so um, so we were always just strictly friends, but we finally, um, I broke up with that person, and then now um, we've been flirting ever since, and we recently started dating, but, um, so that's going super well, but all my friends are kind of acting weird about it, and it's like they want to know everything that's going on, and they kind of um, ask kind of intrusive questions mm. and and um kind of just act really really strange and so um it's getting really annoying because i just want to you know be with this person and give it the chance that it deserves but um my friends are just having a really hard time with it Ooh. and just getting kind of crazy so. but that's so baffling to me why like what what these do you- are mostly guy friends i i oh. right oh right yes yes oh. so yeah. um most of them are guy friends it's it's um, a handful yeah, of guys and then one other girl and myself in our friend group. And, um, like one in particular is really, 
um, really concerned that um, the guy I'm dating is going to hurt me and, Mm -hmm. and also really concerned that um, we're going to like the whole dynamic of our friend group is going to change. Does that guy like you? I have all these questions. Does that guy like you? Not that I know of. He has a girlfriend and so he shouldn't like me. Mm. Um, so, but you think he yeah, might so like you, right? He, you told me this earlier there today. Have There's been, a chance. Yeah, there have been rumors or rumblings that some of yeah. the guys thought that he had a thing for me. But he's yeah. had a long-term girlfriend for a really oh, long time. So I just kind of put those thoughts mm-hmm. away and just assume that we're strictly friends. No. No, he wants you. He wants yeah. you. He wants you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just, well, if you say so. <laughs> no, and you um, you probably you you probably feel that on some level that you don't necessarily want to acknowledge because you want this person maybe to be in your life as your friend. Oh yeah. But um, mm-hmm. but yeah, he oh, yeah. Gosh. So um, now let me ask you this though: How does your boyfriend feel about your guy friends? Um. See, that's the thing. I think he's a lot more comfortable with them. Like he gets kind of annoyed by it all. Um, but mm. I think he's a lot more comfortable sharing things with them about our relationship than I am. Um, like for example, like I, I don't really talk like to share a lot about like intimate, like details of my relationship, especially with more, um, like, like sexual things. And like that to me is between me and the person I'm dating. Um, and is like, unless I really that? feel, is the yeah. <laughs> Yeah, okay. and like well, I know you've got to end um, that, honey. You've got to end this relationship <laughs> right away. Wait, what? Oh, <laughs> oh, red flag. Oh no. Wait, really? Yes, men are not supposed to share any sexual things. What is you he don't... sharing? Oh, yeah. See, well, I, a good question. I always thought that it's just kind of a guy thing to, you know, like talk to your guys about, you know, no, that kind of stuff. But um, Wait, can, and I can... don't want him to feel like i'm ashamed of him i don't want to tell him like he can't share what he wants to do with his friends but it's just because any any guy that i've dated before could have done that i just didn't know it but i i like it's just weirder because they're my friends too and i it's yeah no wait a minute okay now there's a flip thing here happening in my brain i'm uncomfortable yeah me too so um so so your boyfriend is telling your guy friends or your guy friends you things about your love life. life And your yeah, body uh, yeah. One of my my girlfriend, like, she saw a text that had been happening between two of my, like, one of my guy friends and the guy I'm dating, and like, the one guy asked him, like, so, like, how far have you gotten, like, that kind of thing, and and he was very honest about it, and that kind of made me uncomfortable. Well, what did he say? Just tell did me he how say, he worded like, it. Like bases. Well, yeah. Well, <laughs> he's like, well, like, we ne- we didn't have sex, but we were very close, and like. Was he Next a little time, more? It's gonna happen, and that kind of thing. You don't have to tell us how crude he got, but was he scale more crude of one to ten? Than then? Scale yeah. of one to ten. How was the crudeness? Well, I, I'm sorry, I, I can't hear you very. Oh well. no, but okay. So he he's saying you you over you learned that he was saying something like next time it's gonna happen. But was there anything really crude also in this text? Like you know. Oh um, no, you know, nothing. He didn't her say tits anything are awesome like or whatever. I jizzed all no. over him, or I don't know. I'm no, sorry, mom. No, he, good graphic. She loves it when say I say anything. jizz. It's a good word. It's a good word. You know what it means. It's, it's, it, it requires you to It was to nothing like disrespectful towards me or anything. It was just he basically explained everything that had happened that night. But it was nothing like he wasn't crude. Okay. And is that the only time? That's the only time that I know of. But I know that the guys in our group have a very, like, they're very close. And they have a, a group text that doesn't include myself and... Um, the other girl who who we hang out with too, and so I know oh, that that. Oh is wait, full wait. Of so the, of guys there's stuff. a bunch of guys and a girl involved in group text that you're not involved in. No, no. The girls so just the guys. Oh, are okay, involved. okay, okay. Yeah, I gotcha. I gotcha. So your your gut feeling right now is that these dudes, your boyfriend, your friends, are see this are, is- are being a little bit. You know, overprotective. Like, well, no, no, no. I was gonna say, no, no. I was gonna say that at behaving like, oh, uh, like young men. You know what I in feel? Their early twenties mm-hmm. do, which I, is I feel a fucking like, annoying. And- I feel like you're not on that group text, and maybe the guys who are just your friends are knowing that maybe he's saying something that's not ideal. Mm-hmm. But then, why would they be friends with him too? I don't know. Well, they were friends before. Right. They were all friends, and then their relationship has transitioned, and maybe 
they just want her to be careful. This is so easy, you guys. Okay. Well, Tell yes, us. you're a guy. Yeah. Tell us. I can't believe this. Uh, oh, you, my God. You missed it? Look what not having a penis does. It I know. It makes us miss <laughs> Who knows first if all, I do or not? First of all, these are 22-year-old dudes, okay? So they're going to say this stuff about... You know, if 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 a, if if a good buddy of mine when I was twenty two or twenty three said, "Hey, have you slept with her yet?" I'm going to tell him yes or no. I'm not going to okay. get into I details. Get that. That's what so I mean. That's fine. That's right? fine. That's okay. absolutely okay, fine. Okay, sure. I mean, I wouldn't do that now, but in my no, early no, no. 20s, but yeah, even but now, it's fine. But We're just I, talking about. The, I'm just talking about the description. The, 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 yes. But she said it wasn't graphic, so I'm okay yeah, with that. I'm, I have no problem with that Me at neither. all. Okay. The as far as the group texting, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just a bunch of dudes. We're friends. Yeah, but what about when you dudes get ugly? Like when you're like, oh, whatever her pussy wasn't shaved or whatever. How do you know? Like, there's so many Well, I know. say this. Like, I know, I know a guy. Like pepperoni slices. I have no I idea. I know a guy when he's into a girl and it's like his girlfriend, he doesn't talk like that. He does. He takes it down about the details. Now, if what she's saying is true, is that all he said is, I haven't done it yet, but I think next time. That sounds normal to me. It doesn't sound like it was crude, but I'm just saying maybe there's information on the text that you may not be aware of I that think, the other guys. I, I think mm-hmm. we, we're all missing the point here. What is that? The texts don't mean anything. It's it's all about the friends. I think it's all about this guy that wants to fuck her. Right. You know, I think it's about him but right now. But she might want to fuck him. I don't know do about you, that. Do you, Carolyn? Well, he has a Yeah. <gasps> oh. So you like the wow, guy. Wow, I wasn't like expecting that. <laughs> I was not well, like, expecting that. No, I mean, like, I like him. Like, I want to, like, I want... No, 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 not the no. guy. Are you talking about the guy you're with or the guy... No, no, no. We're asking about the guy who's the friend who keeps. Oh no 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 oh, no! no. Okay. okay okay. You oh wanna... my god no! So you yes. haven't so you haven't slept with this guy yet? No, I mean not no not quite. Not technically. Okay, there's been no penetration. Not the I think that these dudes are, might they Dr. might be a little Hall. jealous. <laughs> Here's there's what it been is. no okay. penetration of the vagina. <laughs> Here's what I'm thinking: these are young, immature men, okay, who just graduated Something. from college. Let me finish. Let me finish, and. One of these guys, the guy that's the guy that's into you, he's in a way kind of cock blocking right now. He doesn't want yeah. you. He does not want right. his buddy to be with you because he wanted to be with right. you. Even though he might have a girlfriend, like you said, that doesn't mean he's still not into you. Right. This is just all young guy shit. All right. And if this guy treats you well and he and he's and he's being nice to you and you like him, continue on this relationship. But at a certain Let point, talk you to your friends and say, "Hey, leave us a fuck alone." Let me ask you something. That's just that's does just what your, I, does, yeah, that's good. Does your guy know that this other guy is saying these things? Yeah. Because they're all, I think well, they're on the I'm, text or something together. Yeah, but she's not on this text. No, I know, but he, is, like, apparently he is. I think, I think he's said different things to the guy that I'm dating. Like, they've definitely talked about me. Like, he, like, the guy I'm dating asked this guy kind of for advice about dating me before it even started. Um, and, and I think he kind of, like, warned him, like, I almost think that he told me, like, he told the guy I'm dating, like, I don't know if it's a good idea. I don't think, like, you can go for it, but this could end really badly. Yeah, of like, he I, said I think that. he kind of, yeah. It's so and, you know, to me. most of the time, you know, when, when things mm-hmm. end, they end really badly in general, as we learned from mm-hmm. Regina Hall with Good Times. Her yeah. good times were kept. <laughs> good times is a metaphor for life, <laughs> love and but, life. <laughs> but I hear, okay, so here, I, I think, um, my 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 advice, I guess, is, um, I mean, a, as you know, Sim and I talk about this a lot, like the idea of like a heterosexual friendship between a man and a woman is really tricky, very complicated, especially at your age. Um, and usually one party has other motivations um, with the with mm-hmm. sort of having having the friendship in the first place. Um, and it's usually the dude. But well, <laughs> but um that is but true. I think that you know, I think you know, proceed forward um, with. I with think this you should tell your guy what the guy is saying, so that oh. he knows what to say. That might be a good test. because I think the guy. Yeah, I think I think your guy is the key. You yeah. got to let that guy. That's know. That's actually really right. good, Regina. Yeah, yeah. I, that I, I'm I'm with that. Yeah. yeah, because if he's gonna be your guy. Yeah. Then that yep. relationship's right. going to be like he has really, to have your back. He right. has to have your back. Exactly. So he's got to know, and you've got to see what he does. Because then all that group text stuff is going to be. But you have to different. do it in a really rational, like yes. calm, not emotional. Yeah, that's good. Mm-hmm. Thank you. I learned it from you. <laughs> when you were, not like Chad when I was so emotional when you with were Chad, Chad earlier. Chad's girlfriend. <laughs> 
Oh, we did a weird improv, Caroline, that probably, um, I don't know, Chad things going to cut out. <laughs> but, um, so, but yeah, so listen, but also know that, um, I don't know, I know that this sounds like my old ass mantra, which it is, but I think kind of, you just protect yourself in this whole thing. Trust and, and give like your boyfriend, if he is that, the, um, I, I I don't know if courtesy is the right word. It's not the right word, but but I guess maybe the gift of entrusting him with this information that mm, you know, mm-hmm. yeah, and in a in a calm, rational way, and just say like, listen, this stung a little bit. I hate the idea of thinking that people are talking about me behind my back like this. I know now yeah. know this information and just tell him that you're hearing and you don't know that this guy's motives. Are, yeah. You know, mm-hmm. be like, I'm not you're sure, but find, something strange. Yeah. And you'll find out like how Hi, much he yes, cares you for you. Like, the you end know, of the Good Times and, episode. and, <laughs> and if he's, if he's only halfway in, even if you continue to see him, which I wouldn't necessarily recommend at all, at least but you'll at know. Least you'll know. At exactly. Least you'll, know. you'll be prepared for your your heart will start um, forming its pearl shell, there it which is. is a weird there it is thing. <laughs> there it is. I love you, Richie. <laughs> there it is. It's true. Um, does that to help? This is at good. All? This is really good. But I, you're but Sim, you're totally right. Like, dudes are fucking doofuses. Yeah, especially that age. Yes. I was that doofus at that age. And we don't know what's going on in that group text. That other that's guy right. could be saying stuff that's completely not right. true right. and right. exaggerating. Yeah, exactly. right. That's why you got to be yeah. honest with your dude. Exactly. Your yeah. potential dude. That's right. right. And also, and you know, a big part of, um, a big part of finding love and it, it's 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 it men men at that age can can be sort of at their height of ugliness. No offense. Mm. In terms of pack mentality and um, testosterone, testosterone, and so if they're like all like he may have very private and personal feelings towards his like closeness and his love for you mm. on his own, but in a group setting, um, feels the need to maybe you know whatever throw you under the bus or whatever or not talk. protect oh, okay. you like he you, should. Yeah, not protect you like he should because he wants to impress his friends right. or whatever or like mm-hmm. impress yeah. like the the and maybe he doesn't know that that other one's pack. got a motive so he's not he wants to make sure that he's not too he, emotionally he may be the, completely unaware yeah, of right. because the guy could be yeah. implying that you're a little loosey-goosey over there right. and he may not want to show how deep his feelings are you got to get that truth out of him right yeah and also to him, okay. to him and the so truth to so him. know that like but like we're all guilty of pack mentality stuff we've all done I it. i have a dog <laughs> um but but know that uh, I, I, I just want it on your radar in, in terms of, and, and also I want you to demand the best out of your partner mm. and somebody who loves you. Mm. And mm-hmm. to be like, if you're not going to truly have my back, if I feel like you are making fun of me or even discussing intimate things about who I yeah. am to, to other people outside of yeah. this Packed that we I don't. They formed. don't need to know that you're gonna hit it tomorrow. You no, need to right. shut that exactly. down right yeah. away and be like, "Man, they don't need to know about knock it off. my UTI." Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't want anyone to know about <laughs> no, my UTI. No, <laughs> no, and all the Cipro that you've taken to get rid of hey, it, and it just won't work. It won't work. Um, <laughs> no, but uh, anyway, does that? I don't know if that makes any sense, but uh, no, it makes it makes a lot of sense. I didn't really think about it in the way that, like. I know I, I always figured that guys were most honest with their guy friends, you know, but I think that the honest and like, dishonest at the same time. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Honest uh, yeah, about the no, stupid I mean, shit and dishonest about the real shit. Mm. Yeah. It. He might kind of want to show that's off the name a little of bit my more, autobi- but <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's it. <laughs> yeah. No, it's true though. It's oh, true. It's true title. that the like, just make sure he has your back, Carolyn. They, they, yeah, they, they, yeah. They, yeah they, I'll definitely talk to him and do. Um, I'll definitely be a little more forgiving of him being a stupid twenty-two-year-old. But well, um, no, hopefully no, he'll grow don't out of that. Do that. No, just, no, no. Just, that, don't, just don't. Be what more you do is of him. he is what going to have is, a long if he's journey. He's a dumb twenty-two-year-old. <laughs> what you're going to do is you're okay. going to give him the opportunity to be a mature one. Yeah. Before you kick, before you say goodbye, you're going to give him this lesson and this warning, and then you're going to see how he proceeds from there yeah 
Yeah, okay. I like that better. Yeah. 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 And also, you know, but really like... Before he gets vagina. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And, I, you know, I think I, I talk a lot about this, this like corny stuff, but, but the idea of like really gauge how he's making you feel and on mm-hmm. a percentage level. And if he's making you feel good 60 to 70% of the time... I mean that's not ideal, but that's that's okay. That's in the range, like it's over realm 51. of acceptability. Yeah. If he's making you feel bad about yourself, about like if you just feel bad, you know, like unsure, manipulative awkward. people are good at you can't really peg them mm. on a, a like a mm. like something. You know what I'm saying? Like something like a direct thing. It's just suddenly you feel mm. just bad about yourself. Yeah. And mm-hmm. when you're watching Real Housewives or whatever, whatever I'm doing. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No. But um, but anyway, so so really like cal- like clock that stuff. And if he's making okay. you not feel great about yourself, fucking ditch him. Group text, mm-hmm. no group text, guy friends, whatever. All aside, this is about you and him and That's how true. he makes you feel. And same thing actually with your friends as well. You know. You're entering like the crazy growth decade right now. Mm. Um, and a lot of these people that you're talking about right now won't be a part of your life. Mm. Um, yeah. That's so true. Yeah, that's in true. In 10 years. Yep. Um, mm. Okay, we love you. Okay, thanks a lot, Carolyn. Hi, Carolyn. Good time. Thank you so much for your help. It was so lovely to talk to you yeah, all. Yeah, you too. Thank you so much for calling. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Did I sound, I feel like I sounded like um, I was being like play acting a pretentious therapist in a movie no she mm. sounded like she appreciated it. Yeah. very sweet yeah. those 20s when you don't have a lot of sense are rough oh my god my 20s yeah i was just a mess yeah, so she 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 needed that guys are cruel at yeah, that age that's what i mean yeah you need to hear that she'll be okay but you need to experience this stuff no you do, you do. it's a part of if you no, don't it's the it's lessons true. it's like going to high school This episode of Unqualified is brought to you in part by Osea. Wondering what to gift your friends and family this holiday season? Female founded over 25 years ago by a mother and daughter team, Osea's award-winning cleansers, serums, face moisturizers, and body products give you the results you want. Skin that looks and feels amazing. I recently got to try Osea's new body butter, which, like their now famous Andaria Algae Body Oil, transforms dry skin without being greasy, has the same incredible scent, and leaves your skin soft, smooth, and healthy looking. If my experience is any indication, you can count on your partner giving you a lot of compliments. This holiday season, stock up and share your new favorite clean skincare and body care with your friends and family. Unqualified listeners get 10% off your first order with promo code ANA at oseamalibu.com. You'll get free samples with every order, and orders over $50 get free shipping. Gifting is always easier if you start early, so head to oseamalibu.com. Use code Anna. This episode of Unqualified is brought to you in part by Warby Parker. Warby Parker was founded with a rebellious spirit and the lofty goal of creating boutique quality eyewear at a revolutionary price point. Sunglasses, with or without a prescription, start at $95 and, just like eyeglasses, are available through their home try-on program. You just choose five pairs and see which ones you like. I was surprised by how quickly they arrived, which presented me with the immediate problem of deciding which ones to keep. I loved all of them, so you can guess what happened. And not only can you feel good about how cool you look, you can also feel good knowing that for every pair of glasses sold, Warby Parker distributes a pair of glasses to someone in need through partnerships with nonprofits like Vision Spring. Offering eyeglasses, sunglasses, contact lenses, and eye exams, Warby Parker is committed to providing exceptional vision care online and in stores. So put your FSA or HSA dollars to good use on Warby Parker prescription glasses, prescription sunglasses, contact lenses, and eye exams. Try Warby Parker's free home try-on program. 
Order five pairs of glasses to try at home for free for five days. There's no obligation to buy. Ships free and includes a prepaid return shipping label. Try five pairs of glasses at home for free at warbyparker.com slash unqualified. That's W-A-R-B-Y-P-A-R-K-E-R dot com slash unqualified. Completely. Yeah. She's right. in algebra. We're calling Jen. Jen is in New Jersey. It's late over there. She's 33. Wake up, Jen. Take me back to Manhattan. Hello. Hi, hey, Jen. Hey, Jen. It's Sim and Anna is here as well. Hi, Jen. Thanks for staying up so late. I know. It's late in New Jersey. Regina Hall is here. Hi, Jen. Hello. Her movie is in theaters right now. It's called When the Bow Breaks, and it's oh, doing really you. well. And it's awesome. Thank you. And we, just saw, saw, we actually I really we, want to go see it. You should go see it. We actually saw it together about two hours ago. Yeah, it's really good. It's really yeah, good. Two this hours is a ago. lot of fun. I talk too much, though. <laughs> I was nervous. I was nervous for your character, Regina. I know. I was scared. But I also knew <clears throat> deep in my heart you knew. that you were going to kick some fucking ass. Well, you didn't, actually. You had it backwards. Well, I didn't, but I knew. But I like that you knew you, that you knew. I know that you... you did. Of course, you listen. Did. You, you <laughs> never... She sees and feels the badass in me. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, I've witnessed it. Yes, you have. First hand. Um, so, Jen, the subject of your email to us is drunk sister-in-law. Oh. So, tell us why she's bothering you. Okay. I love this title. So, I know, me too. I'm getting married um, next June. Congratulations. My maid of honor had suggested doing a vineyard tour for my bachelorette party. So, um, of course, I said, yes, I would love to do it. It's something I've always wanted to do. Um, and then I thought about it and I realized that my fiance's brother's wife is a recovering alcoholic, Mm. except for the fact that she still to this day refuses to admit that it's even a problem. So is she recovering? recovering. Is she recovering or just an alcoholic? Well, (laughs) we thought she was recovering until... We all flew down to the Caribbean this past July to for her destination wedding, and she was wasted the entire time okay, from so she's an morning to night. Mm-hmm. So, and she admitted to me that she would run to the bar, take nine shots, and then run back to wherever we were. But wait, so she was she pretending to be sober yeah. while not? Like claiming like, oh, I'm... I'm in reco- like you know what I mean? Like what was her story during this wedding? Like was she sloppy <laughs> the entire time? Oh yeah. It was embarrassing. So um, everybody absolutely- in, but would she loudly because I know people who will loudly proclaim, Oh, I've been sober for two years when clearly they're not. I don't know if that's like your sister in law. I I don't know. Well, up until this time I personally hadn't noticed it. I heard stories. Mm. Um, about her, you so know, she's a legend. getting drunk and saying stupid stuff and whatever. But I saw it with my own eyes this time. I mean, she was falling down, mm. crying, falling all You've over the place. You've gotten me at the right people. day. You've gotten me the right day. I'm going to tell you why. I was just home. Was it Thursday or Friday? And I watched a 2020 with Ann Vargas. Did anyone see that? Friday. Thank you. It was Friday. <laughs> and she Ann is, Vargas. She has amazing story. What, yes. Yeah, she had an amazing story of being an alcoholic and the, the, the and what they do and the denial and the the stories. And she went to recovery and came back home and was like, you know what, I'll be fine. And she was going back and forth and she really talked about women and alcoholism and how much is it's a disease. And the truth is, you have to tell her that you love her. And you're going to have a bachelor party, but that you don't think that 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 wine tasting thing is the right space for her. But you want her to partake in other things. And you guys got to really, you know, really support her getting into recovery because she really has a a disease and it's very difficult. And 
One thing that Ann Vargas said is whenever she talked to someone that had deep compassion and didn't make her feel ashamed, which would be other recovering alcoholics, true recovering, that was when that would be when she would actually be willing to confront it more when someone just would matter factly factly say, Oh, you know, okay. And, mm-hmm. and not, so maybe you mm-hmm. got, you guys got to figure out, but she I, can't come to the thing, honey. Well, I, and you know what? I don't, and I don't want you to change your plans. No, cause you should have, mm-hmm. this is all, yeah. this is your thing. This is all about you. You know, I, I was talking to um, a friend of mine who's planning her wedding right now. And we were talking about how in weddings, it's a joyous time, but also people reveal their hands. Mm-hmm. Regina's revealing her <laughs> hand to me, and it is beautiful. Um, oh, the other one is too. Um, but uh, but the, but the idea that if somebody is going to bring drama, and most of the time it's very subconscious. You know, um, they're going to figure out whatever, however their feelings will be hurt or she whatever. Can't come. But um, but I, Regina's right. Honesty. Tell her straight up. Listen, um, I don't want you to feel not included, but I want to do this wine tasting, and uh, and you can't come. And I and I love you, and I want to support you, and and I'm there for you. Can they I, I, do something like, else together? Yeah, yeah. Like do something brunch. else together. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking like do something fun with just me and her, but yes. then. You know, I, I feel like any way she may take it a certain way. And, you know, I just have to let her work that out on yes, her own, maybe. Yes. And well, she's that going to. Smart, and that's a Jen, perfect you're... time for you when she says that. Why can't I come to say, you know what, babe? I got to tell you, I love you, but you drink too much. And it's okay. But, you know, until you get help, I can't. You don't want to support that. So, you know, you just have to tell right. her this, is, this weekend is about you, but you want to do something great with her. You know what? You can tell her you know she's recovering. And that you don't want her in that kind of tempting place. Ooh, that's I good. I don't take Anna to the crack dens anymore. <laughs> oh, but you know how much I love crack. I know. That's why I don't take you. That's why I don't take you. What if I told you that I love your crack? I know that already. I know that already. You've, you've shown that a lot of times. <laughs> but, um, but see, we don't want to talk about us. We digress. <laughs> Go ahead, but, Anna. Um, well, okay, so wait. Um... Okay, we didn't really actually let you talk very much. Are you, uh, is this going to hurt anybody else's feelings if you tell her this? I, I don't think, I mean, as it stands right now, after the debacle in the Caribbean, everybody's kind of, not turned, but they really just don't want any part of any of this um, and any of her, you know, excuses or whatever. And not to sound heartless, but none of us can help her unless she's going to help herself. Can I ask and you, what, do, what does your fiancé and your fiancé's brother think of this? Um, my fiancé has pretty much written her off. You know, he'll be cordial to her, but he's kind of like, you do whatever you want to do, and, you know, you can't let her, you know, ruin your time. This is good. Um, so and it's not going to affect their her. marriage. This is good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Her husband pretty much just ignores it and basically feels like he has to, you know, just live with it. Oh. So it's, you know, it's, it's a t- I get it's a tough situation and, um, you know, whatever. But at the same time, you know, I, I can't put myself in that situation to, you know, be hurt or whatever. Right. I think Regina is really on to something. If you could maybe write her an email saying like, um, listen, I'm having this. My, my friend is hosting um, my bachelorette party and we're doing a wine tasting. I know that you're in recovery. So I, I while I really wanted to invite you, yeah, I know we'll that it's also um, kind of a dangerous you know, or and dangerous is too like strong of a word, but sort of a, um, what would you say, tricky, maybe? I would just tr- say, tricky- listen, I know you're recovering, so you and I will do something later on our own. Yeah. I wouldn't even yeah. give her much of an yeah. option. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. That's good. And yeah. you're good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No. Just yeah. not even give her the option no. to yeah. say yeah. yes or no. It's exactly. a wine thing. I know you're recovering, so you and I will make a, yes. a plan to do, do you like brilliant. Do you later. like the idea of doing it over email versus phone or in person? I think either text or I'd email text is better email. with. Yeah. Somebody who's a little loosey goosey, and then she might be like, "No, I'll be fine." Then it's going to cause it. This is this is where she's just got to say, "Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah." yeah. And yeah if that's she because pushes, she has, 
she has said to me like, Oh, I promise I won't drink at anything for your wedding or anything. I won't, blah, blah, blah. but you know, she couldn't even not drink at her, own, you know, like I just don't have much faith. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what, this really, What's a disease? Like, you, then, yeah. you know what, in this, it's, it won't happen like this cause it never does, but your wedding really should be about the, the day that you envisioned. And it, it like, there's going to be a lot of drama that, you won't necessarily expect because that's just the joy of a wedding. But at least you can work to sort of prevent, you know, the foreseen drama that is headed your way. Mm. And you know what? And if people don't understand the philosophy of like, this truly is our day. This is the day that you are witness to celebrate my public proclaiming of my love and dedication to this other person. Um, if they can't, if they can't handle that, that really says something, you know, mm. and mm-hmm. that's just my whole wedding philosophy. I mean, you're absolutely right. And, you know, it's something I can sort of control. There's not a lot of things I can, but this I can control and sort of take the reins and say, you know, this is what it is and, you know, take it or leave it. So, yeah, you know what? And, and, but, but like Regina, I, like handle it with, uh, like, um, with delicacy and vagueness, I think mm-hmm. I think being vague is okay yeah. in this yeah. in this case. She knows what it means. Her ass knows what recovering means. She knows she shouldn't be in no winery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jen, I think you got this. Have a great wedding. Yes, yeah. and a great and a great bachelorette Thank party. You. <laughs> yes. Don't like not do anything because of this shit. You know what I'm saying? That, yeah. I pretty much just bailed it out. <laughs> Don't <laughs> not do anything there it is. of this shit. <laughs> That's the next book. Oh, yeah. Don't <laughs> not do anything yeah. because of this shit. Oh, that double negative. Volume three yeah. by Anna Ferris. That's what it does, like it, it makes everyone say, does that mean do or don't? It's a double negative. I love it, Anna. Jen, where are you getting married? Um, we're getting married um, in New Jersey at the Rockley. Mm. Congratulations. That sounds amazing. It does. Are you honeymooning? Um, we're thinking about the Greek island. Oh my God. Nice. Nice. Look at that was a collective like, oh, yeah. <laughs> so jealous. I uh, think I should be your maid of honor. <laughs> you know, I could come and be in the party. I could come to the, because I, I drink, but not, I won't be embarrassing. And I've always wanted to go to, oh wait, well, you are do I get take, to go to the yeah, honeymoon you know, or no? No, yes. Jen's going to take her bridesmaids <laughs> to the Greek island. Yes. <laughs> oh, well then yes. Then, then yeah. yes, I will be, I'll yes, be I will too. be in the wedding. I will be in the wedding party, Anna and I both. Yep, and then we're going to mortify you way more than your yes. sister-in-law. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Way more. <laughs> Seatbelts fastened, Jen. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but Jen, you'll have memories. Thank you so much hey, for hanging out with us. Congratulations. I'm you so, so happy much. for you. I'm so happy. Please like keep us posted. Good night. I absolutely will. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Good night. Oh, see? He's doing that finger thing again. Oh, come on. Now, We're on the air. Don't do the finger thing now. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't triple X rated. You stop it. Oh, we all oh. just saw it. Too. Oh, my God. Regina, thank you so much. This is your second time here, but for most people listening, it's your first time, except for a very special few people that have heard the yes. first appearance. Yes. Can I tell you something? Yes. I have my fan page who heard the first appearance. And the reason I know this is because they had a picture of me and Anna with the lyrics. Of oh. yeah, from which one? That, from from, that's why you knew. That's why you that's knew all the why words. They yeah. knew. Yes, and I said, "How did you know that?" And they said, uh, "I heard your podcast." And I was like, "Ah, oh, you heard me, and Anna, Regina." Oh my God! Thank you so much. And as you put it earlier, not quite this crudely, but I wouldn't mind going and boning my husband. Yeah, as you should. Thank you. Or shouldn't mind, as you should do and shouldn't mind. I would like to, take and that I girth. wouldn't mind. Take that girth. Take that. Oh, you know, that's when in you a, say girth, that's though, in a puffy I, song. Now I'm retreating. Take that, take that, take that. Don't think about it. You'll be well lubricated. Do you ever do Kegels in Regina midday? is a lubricant. <laughs> <laughs> I stay Kegling. Can you talk while you Kegel? I'm talking now and Kegling. <laughs> I can't. I'm trying to do it, but it takes a lot of focus. It takes a lot of focus. You need a okay. yoni egg. You know they've got classes and strength. To strengthen your um, pelvic floor, pelvic floor, and to uh, keep it tight. Doesn't 
the term Who needs it for? tight? Who wants friction? I say get it in and get it on out. I, I don't think they need it that tight. Actually, now that you're talking about it, I'm not sure that I want to go upstairs. Oh, go on up there. Oh, you know yeah. what? The quicker you get it done, <laughs> the better. You know, I say, why wait till 8.20 and be the done by 9 when you to can go what? at 8 and be done by 8.40? Stranger 8 things or whatever. Mm. You get to sleep, you know. Mm. You get to think. Think about your day tomorrow. Do not want to think. Grab a snack. Snacks, yum. Mm-hmm. And you know what else? You get to just keeps you clear for about 48 hours. No poundage. You mean clear mentally? No, vaginally. You can oh. probably hold them off for another day. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Next day, do a hand job. Ugh. I'm horrible at that. I'm so bad at that. How can you be bad at that? I don't know. You just put a little I Vaseline have, on it. I have short arms that are weak. Ah, uh, <laughs> somebody needs push ups. <laughs> oh, that's why he keeps wanting me to do them. <laughs> Do this last pull up. Wait a minute. Didn't you guys? Did you do a push up challenge? We sure did. Well, that's the I real reason. You. That's the real reason. Now we know. Use those. Did you do all twenty two? I did. It took a while. Well, then you use what you did, and you you do that tomorrow. Tonight you gotta open up. Mm, but doesn't it feel kind of boring? Like, what do you talk about when you're giving them a can job? If you do it right, it's not. Can you watch TV like while you're doing it? Three minutes. Can you watch Real Housewives? Yes. They don't care what you're watching. They don't care what you're really? watching. Really? No. <gasps> I, like I love it. you. Uh, okay, love I'm going to go too. try to make love. Okay, follow yeah. us on Unqualified on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram. Watch When the Bow Breaks. And it's in theaters right now. Regina, thank, thank you, you so much for, for being here. Me. I always so have a ball. Much. You all are qualified to me. Aw. Do we? The sweetest. Yes. Are you sure you're being honest? Yes. Did you look at me properly? Is my nose growing? No, you all are qualified. I love you. You're I amazing. Make up the, well, I love you too. Oh, good night, everyone. You're the best. Thank you so much.